<laughs> Do you really think that I will tell you anything just because you strap me down to a chair and start talking to me in a very condescending way? <sighs> you and the justice system. I never really understood you guys. You truly believe that you are the heroes, aren't you? <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> there you go, calling me every name in the book. <laughs> I must say, your interrogation skills seem to be working. Oh, I just have this sudden urge to tell everything I know to you. Oh, man, how do you do it? <laughs> Can you just throw me into a jail cell already? You're wasting both of our times. You see, me and my family, we have this moral code. We'd rather rot in prison than rat each other out. Because we were there for each other our whole lives. Even when our families abandoned us, we were there for each other. I would never dare to turn my back on my true family. So you better get that motive of getting information out of your head, because it's not happening. <laughs> I see both of us are very stubborn. Well, I had to murder very stubborn people, so this is nothing to me. <laughs> Do you think a few words will make me confess everything I know? You're pathetic. Your words mean nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my goodness, just get off your high horse for once. Do you truly believe that what you're doing is helping anyone? Look at me. This is a result of how you treated us. The justice system, the government, everyone. <laughs> Guess what? Our own families left us to die. The government refused to help us. And the justice system threw us out to the curb. So we have every right to be mad. Every single right. <laughs> and you act like we are the villains. <laughs> you are sorely mistaken, my good sir. What? Are you proud of this moment? Are you going to put this on your resume? Hoping that you'll get a little promotion? Get some more money? Of doing what? This? <laughs> Taking in the victims and blaming them for all your problems. We had no choice. In fact, you didn't give us any choice. You see me? I used to be a normal girl. A normal, young, innocent little girl. Till my family decided to throw me out. For no reason. I went to you guys for help. Since I've been brainwashed to rely on the government. Any time there are problems. I went there. And you guys looked at me as if I was nothing. As if I deserved to die like an old dog. <sighs> like I was a waste of space. <laughs> You did that to all of us. And this is what you do. And you call yourselves heroes. I have a theory about you. That you have no power, so you come here and take it from the weak. Is that what you're aiming for? Is that your motive? Because it would make sense. I see no other motive. And don't you dare pull up that little lie that you just want to protect the public. <laughs> you want to protect them? The same individuals that did this to young, innocent children? We didn't deserve. We didn't deserve that. We were so young. The worst thing that we could do was go to the principal's office for being a little too aggressive. Oh... How innocent. <laughs> You're protecting the real villain. <laughs> and demonizing the victims. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? 
I'm not crazy. Everyone else is. <laughs> you don't... You don't understand, do you? Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. You work for the Justice Department. They have brainwashed you, haven't they? Told you all these lies about society and how you must protect it. Society is your real enemy, not us. We are just the byproduct. <laughs> Innocent little children turning into monsters. What do you think made them turn into that? Exactly. Finally. You finally understand, don't you? Don't you dare touch me. Those hands are soiled. Your mind is soiled. Filthy? You are filthy. Oh, don't you worry. I'm fine. Peachy. <laughs> You know what's funny? You ask me if I'm okay. A second later, you ask me to expose my true family. Do I look like a snitch to you? <laughs> well, I guess you are blind then. <laughs> what? No, you don't understand. Don't you dare. Try to sympathize with me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know at all. Not at all. You've been living this posh life. This life of luxury. You see, you have a family that loves you. You have people who cared about you. People who are willing to help you. And everyone sees you as this hero. Of course you're having a good life. Look at me. The outcast. The untouchable. They saw me as weak, and I proved them wrong. So don't you ever say that you understand. Because I know you don't. Are you trying to lie to me? So I get comfortable with you? Everything about you just makes me sick. So don't you dare. You know what? My true family. They will come for me. I know that. I know that. They will come for me. And all of you will regret everything. Everything that you've done to us, you will regret it. I promise you. <laughs> you seem so sure. You don't know what my family is capable of. Well, you'll see soon enough. <laughs>